at the start of the game, deal six area cards face down in a deck. Then, deal area cards equal to the number of players face up in a row on the table. Return all remaining area cards to the box. Place the food, fat, and shelter tokens near the row of area cards. Deal six evolution cards face down to each player. Choose the first player randomly and give them the first player token. In Evolution New World, you create animals and give them traits essential to surviving in an ever-changing environment. The game lasts for six epochs, rounds, and consists of four phases, development, areas, feeding, and extinction. In the development phase, players take turns playing one card from their hand, starting with the first player and proceeding clockwise. To create a new animal, play the card face down. Always arrange your animals in a single row. In order to add traits to existing animals, you play one evolution card face up under one of your played animals. The exception is paired traits, which must be played on top of two adjacent animals. Each evolution card has two traits a main trait and a short trait. The only difference between them is that the descriptions of short traits are provided in the reference guide, not on the card. When adding a new trait to your animal, choose whether to use the main or short trait. If you cannot or don't want to play an evolution card, you must pass. This forfeits all your turns until the end of the development phase. When all players have passed, the development phase ends. In the areas phase, food and shelter tokens are placed on the face-up area cards. They will be available during the current epoch. Place the top card from the area stack face-up on the left side of the area cards row. Place one token on each symbol of every face-up area card. Some area cards are divided into two parts. The lower area is available to all animals, but the upper area is only available to animals with the specific trait listed under the area name. During the feeding phase, you will try to feed your animals. The feeding phase starts with the first player and continues clockwise until all players have passed. During your turn, you may perform one of three actions. Search for shelter, feed from an area, or attack with a predator. Select one of your animals. It takes a shelter token from an area it has access to. Shelter gives complete protection from predators. Select one of your hungry animals. It takes one food token from an area it has access to. An animal is considered fed if it has one food token on it. However, some traits increase an animal's food requirement and are marked by a plus one or plus two before the trait name. If an animal has the fat tissue trait, it allows it to store food in excess of its food requirement. It will come in handy in the next round if the animal cannot find food. Any animal with the carnivorous trait is a predator. Hungry predators may take food from areas or attack other animals and consume them. When your predator attacks, rotate its carnivorous card 45 degrees to the right to show that it has already attacked this round. If nothing saves the target, the attack is a success. The predator consumes the target and takes two food tokens from the supply. However, not every animal can be attacked easily, and the attack is not always successful. It all depends on the traits of the animals. The extinction phase is the end of the round. If any animals have poisonous, hibernation, or fat tissue traits, resolve their effects. All hungry animals die. Discard each hungry animal and all of its evolution cards, including paired traits. Then remove all tokens from all animals except for unused fat tokens. Return all rotated evolution cards back to their vertical position. Discard the rightmost area card. Then each player draws cards from the evolution deck equal to the number of animals they have, plus two additional cards. If none of your animals have survived, draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. Any player with more than six cards must discard the extra. The first player token is passed to the next clockwise player. 
After six epochs, the game ends. Get three victory points for each surviving animal, and one point for each trait they possess. Players gain additional victory points for traits that increase an animal's food requirements. The player with the highest number of victory points is declared the winner.